are solving numericals on psychrometry so this is our second numerical so read the problem carefully the specific humidity of atmospheric air at 28 degrees celsius travel temperature and barometric pressure of 760 mm of mercury is 0 0.016 kg per kg of dry air determine the following without using psychrometry chart so in this problem we do not have to use psychrometry chart we have to use steam table to solve the problem what we have to find out partial pressure of water vapor relative humidity dew point temperature specific enthalpy and specific column so let us first of all start with the what is given in the problem so we have given a dryable temperature so i'll write that as td so td equal to given 28 degree celsius barometric pressure is given to us p which is equal to 760 mm of ag 760 mm of ag so if i convert this into bar so it comes out to be equal to 1.01325 bar 1.01325 bar again in the problem specific humidity is given so i'll write that as w so w equal to given 0 0.016 kg per kg of dry air so d dot a dot means it is a dry air kg of dry air so first of all we have to find out the partial pressure of water vapor okay so let us start with first one partial pressure of water vapor so partial pressure is indicated by pv so i will write only pv now as we have given the specific humidity we can use the formula for the specific humidity to find out the partial pressure of water vapor so we know that the formula for specific humidity is in terms of pv is equal to what is that 0 0.622 into pv divided by p minus pv so this is the formula given for the specific humidity now value for the specific humidity given to us so if i put the value of this specific humidity in this formula the only unknown will be pv because p is known to us that is equal to 1.01325 bar so if i put the value 0 0.016 equal to 6.622 into pv upon p minus pv pv upon p minus pv if i try to solve this i'll get the answer as 1.01325 bar because the p here is atmospheric pressure okay so okay i'll write directly so 0 0.016 equal to 0 0.622 into pv upon 1.01325 minus p okay so if i solve this one so this side i will take in left side side left hand side the following term this one so it becomes 1.01325 minus pv equal to ये जो पॉइंट जीरो वन सिक्स है इफ आई गो इफ आई टेक दैट एट दिस साइड व्हाट विल व्हाट विल हैपन पॉइंट सिक्स टू टू डिवाइडेड बाय पॉइंट जीरो वन सिक्स इनटू पी ही ओके सो दैट बिकम्स दैट बिकम्स थर्टी एट पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव इनटू पी ही दैट बिकम्स थर्टी एट पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव पी ही नाउ इफ आई टेक दिस पी ही in this left hand side it is minus so if i take this in this right hand side what will happen it will become plus one okay so if i write this now 1.01325 equal to 39.875 into pv if i solve for pv i will get pv as 
equal to point zero two five four one five. This is it is part C B partial pressure of circuit. Now let's solve for relative humidity. Point number two relative humidity. So it is denoted by RH or it also be denoted by phi. So this RH is nothing but what mass of water vapor per unit mass of water vapor at saturated conditions. So it is the ratio of mass of water vapor, actual mass of water vapor to the mass of water vapor at saturated conditions. So MV, yes. So this also be written as PV upon PVS. Okay. This also be written as PV upon PVS. Now to find out this RH, we must know PV and PVS. So PV is known to us. Just now we have calculated the value for that, this one. Okay. So what exactly is PVS now? So let us go to that. So P V S. So what is PVS? It is nothing but the saturated pressure, saturated pressure at driver temperature. Okay. Saturated pressure at driver temperature. So in this case, our driver temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. So from the steam table, if I go to the steam table and if I find the 25 degrees Celsius um, travel temperature, so corresponding to 25 degrees Celsius travel temperature, the saturated pressure is how much? 0 0.03166. So I can write that 0 0.03166. That is in bar. Okay. Now if I put the value in this relation, but I will get the relative humidity. So point zero two five four one divided by point zero three one six six. So that comes out to be equal to eighty point two six percent. Or we can write that as point eight zero three six. So the relative humidity is equal to how much? 80.26%. Okay. Now let us come to the next point that is dew point temperature. Third point. DPT. I will write in short. So dew point temperature. What exactly is dew point temperature? The temperature at which moisture in the air starts condensing. Okay. So that temperature TDP is equal to saturated temperature at PV. Okay. Saturated temperature at PV. That is partial pressure of water vapor. Now again from the steam table, if I go to the pressure table, then corresponding to our PV, our PV value is how much? 0 0.0254. Right? So if you, if you look at this steam table, our value is near to this value. How much it is? 0 0.025. Okay. Now in this relation, in this table, 0 0.025 value is there and corresponding to that, the saturated temperature is 21.10. So our value is just above this, means 0 0.0254. So I will take just more above, more value than 21.10. So I'll take 22. Okay. So corresponding to that is T saturated at 25 degrees Celsius is equal to how much? Let us say it is 22 degrees Celsius at PV. Okay, so it is 22 degrees Celsius. Means what? The dew point temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Means what? When the temperature of the air is equal to 22 degrees Celsius, moisture in the air starts condensing. Okay. So, Next point, what is that? Enthalpy. Okay. Enthalpy of moisture. So the general formula to find out the enthalpy of moisture is H equal to Cp into travel temperature plus 
स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी इनटू टू फाइव जीरो जीरो प्लस वन सीपी ऑफ वाटर वेपर इनटू टीडी दिस इज व्हाट जनरल रिलेशन टू फाइंड आउट द एंथैल्पी ऑफ द मॉइस्ट एयर नाउ इन दिस वन द सीपी इज नथिंग बट स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी ऑफ ड्राई एयर व्हिच इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव किलो जूल पर केजी केल्विन ओके एट द सीपी वी इज इक्वल टू दैट इज फॉर द वाटर वेपर the cp of water vapor so it is it is equal to 1.88 kilo joule per kg kelvin now if i put these values in this relation to find out enthalpy it comes out to be 1.005 into td plus w into 2500 plus 1.88 into now if i put the value of td because those values are known to us td is given as 24 degrees celsius and w is given as 0 0.016 if i put this 1.005 into 25 plus 0.016 into 2500 plus 1.8 into again here 25 degrees celsius if i solve this i'll get enthalpy as near about 65.877 and that would be in kilo joule per kg of dry air d dot a dot means dry air now last point is remaining in the problem that is point number 5 that is specific volume specific volume of the air we know that the air follows the gas constant gas equation which is equal to how much is that pv equal to mrt right where v is what absolute volume okay note down v is what absolute volume now if i take this m this side what will happen pv upon m equal to rt right so v by m kya ho gaya that would be equal to specific volume so pv equal to rt okay now for air we are calculating means we have to find out the specific volume of the air right so if i write for the specific volume of the air that would be equal to ra into ta upon pa okay ra into ta upon pa now what is the r here r for the air how much it is it is 287 joule per kg kelvin okay r value that is gas constant for the air is equal to how much 287 joule per kg kelvin okay where this p is what atmospheric pressure okay P is what atmospheric pressure of the air. Atmospheric pressure of air. What is this T? T is nothing but driver temperature. Okay. In our case, it is twenty five degrees Celsius. Okay. Now, if I put all this value in this relation, I will get specific volume. Okay. So R equal to how much? Two eighty seven. That is in joule per kg Kelvin. Right. multiplication now this t is how much 25 degree celsius but while putting this in this formula you have to convert that into kelvin okay so 25 plus 273 divided by pa how much it is atmospheric pressure 1.01325 this is in bar so we have to convert this into pascal Okay, we have to convert this into Pascal. So one bar is equal to how much? Ten raised to five Pascal. So I will multiply this by ten raised to five. If I solve this one, I will get the value of specific volume. Okay, I will get the value of specific volume. That would be equal to. Let me solve this. 
टू एटी सेवन इंटू टू सेवेंटी थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री थ्री फाइव इंटू टेन रेस टू फाइव एंड दैट कम्स अप टू बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच पॉइंट एट फोर ओके सो दैट कम्स अप टू बी पॉइंट एट फोर फोर वट इज द यूनिट मीटर क्यूब पर मीटर क्यूब पर के जी तो दिस वे वी कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू